Now the episode begins in the hangar where they have unlocked new data. When Devin actually appeared, he told them that with the new data from the Slicer drone, he can actually create new technology that can help defeat Evox, in which he actually have a perfect idea for that data, in which Devin actually asked Nate for some more facts for firing rockets, which Malawa gets to be precise, as he actually tests them out with Ralphie, Zoe, Ben, and Betty, in which they actually shooting a Malo rocket by Ravi's design, and and Betty and Ben to shoot a rocket that was actually their father's design, but it actually flew out of control and was lost, in which they actually need to get it back before their father figure, finds out, in which Devin fires his rocket, but. His design was a little, well, I have to say, his design that actually had too many stabilizer rings, and it actually failed, which we actually knew it wasn't going to fly. Meanwhile, in the cyber dimension, Evox actually got on to Blaze, Roxy, and Squazzle for letting the Rangers taking the Slicer drone. In which he actually is not happy about it. And he and the fact that he actually wants the gig the Giga drone back before the Rangers have collected the data, which is already too late. Which Roxy actually going to find the hangar. Meanwhile, in Grip Battleforce Grip Battleforce headquarters Ne Devin, Ravi, and Zoe are actually in the simulator, which they had told Commander that they were going to form their swords into the Megazord for the first time, in which Devin actually told the others to trust his instinct and actually try to fire more rockets. But the simulation was a fail when the Giga Drone actually defeated the Rangers. In which Devin actually should have actually told Ralphie he should have actually trusted his instinct and he actually got upset and ran off. Which the commander actually told him you know, about what actually happened. In which he, I mean, she actually told him that a good leader always has faith in his team. In which even though without experience or have experience, which Devin actually knew about it. Meanwhile, while Ben and Betty have actually found the rocket, we actually seen Roxy found the hangar, in which Squazzle actually create a Robotron to assist Roxy, in which the Robotron actually it was made out of the hydrant and he actually calls it Metatron in which he used his <clears throat> powers to melt the door and they actually went inside after Roxy actually spots Ben and Betty but they actually flew away by their rockets which they actually ran inside and they found the Slicer drone which the Rangers was actually in sight which they ran inside to stop them, but Roxy had already started the refueling process to refuel the Slicer drone, in which she actually fighting the Rangers after they morph, and Meltatron is actually fighting as well, which the refueling process is actually complete, and she actually closed the hangar door. We actually knew that she actually going to let the Giga Drone destroy the Rangers while still inside. And when the other door was actually closed, Rafi actually drew Devin because he was the only one fast enough to get his sword and break the hangar door. In which we actually seen Rafi and Zoe fighting Meltatron while Squazzle is actually looking for some parts 
for his next plan, including the beast bot head, in which Squazzle actually got enough, so he actually come up with his plan. Meanwhile, Devin actually brought his racer sword, battle mode, and getting ready to break the hangar door, which Squazzle actually creates a new Giga Drone called Metadrone, in which he actually fighting Devin, and since the acid actually broke the sword, we actually seen Devin use the Drone's melting powers to melt the hangar door after Ralphie and Zoe defeated Meltatron. But now they actually got their Zords ready because now they only got two Giga Drones in battle, which is the 2 on 1. But the Rangers actually come together and form the Megazord, the Beast X Megazord, for the first time, which they actually fight the Giga Drones and they use their Mega Saver and they call it the their final attack Beast Hyper Strike and they actually defeated him with one slash and they actually defeated both Slicer Drone and Melta Drone. However, we actually seen back in the Cyber Dimension that Evox is still not happy of how they're actually letting the Rangers defeated both Giga Drones, in which he actually need to find a new way to leave the Cyber Dimension, which Squazzle actually come up with a new plan as well. Meanwhile, Devin, Ravi, and Zoe have actually presented Ben and Betty with a new rocket, which they actually made it out of their father's design. And Ralphie and Devin are actually made up and apologize. As they celebrate, they actually shoot off the rocket and they actually were amazed at it. Now, we actually seen how Devin actually have his instinct, but he actually doesn't cry sure how a leader actually trusts his team until he actually did when they actually battle Metatron Ralphie actually drove Devin over the door and told him to open the hangar door which well, that's that's actually a good teamwork however I actually like to say that the new B-Sex Megasword was actually incredible and I cannot wait to see what else they actually can do with the new Mega Sword in the next battle against the Giga Drawer. So I cannot wait for it to actually happen next week. So, anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and come know what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Amy Guys right here, right here saying sign out. Laters!